Hey everybody, welcome to Backroads Angling. Today I'm doing something a little bit special here. So I've been working on a new lure. Let's see if I can get the light right. So I've been working on a new lure. It is a jerkbait style lure. It's kind of a shad imitation. So I'm about ready to go out and try these baits on this pond next to me. But first of all, I'm gonna do a little montage, show you how I made the baits for those of you who are interested. And then after that, um, I'm gonna show you the fishing action, which hopefully we can catch a few bass out here on these baits. Okay, so I'm gonna tie these on. You guys watch the montage, and then come back here, and we'll catch some fish. Okay, so I thought we'd start the water, open water season off right. Make a homemade bait here to try and catch our first bass of the year, or whatever fish we can catch on it. I like using a jerk bait this time of year. So I'm gonna use this one kind of as my size standard and kind of to get a shape. For what I want to do here. We got two different choices of wood. I bought some bass wood, which this is about the right size, about four inches. But this is very floatable. So I think this is gonna be better for like top waters and stuff like that. Um so I did last year I did a video where I made a whopper plopper and I made it out of a stick. So one of the only things that I, I would have changed with that whopper plopper was I would have used different wood, like that basswood, because this wood was so dense that it rode down in the water a little bit, a little lower than I would have wanted it to. So, but I think in this case that's going to be perfect for our jerk bait.
All right, there it is. That's the bait we're gonna be using. We're gonna go see how it swims, see what it looks like in the water. All right, so when I'm using my own lure, I have to take extra precautions to not snag it because that's what happened in my last homemade lure video. I ended up finding the bait, but I do not want to have to search for this bait. We just have not been able to get warmed up here with our with our weather. I just finally decided that just got to go ahead and fish. The weather might not get better anytime soon. Oh man. <laughs> I think this bait's working. It's got some good random action. The only, the only problem I can see with it the only problem I can see with it is it wants to float, so I'm gonna have to put some lead in it. Keep it from floating. Beautiful sunrise. It's cold. It's barely above 30. I don't know if it's above freezing, but whatever. Water hasn't warmed up. Fish are probably in a negative mood. That's what the jerk bait is made for. It's fish in a negative mood. Came out to a lake where there's a lot of different species. Bass, of course, we could get one of those. There are also, you know, we could get so we could get a walleye maybe. There's muskie in here. Caught like three muskie out of this lake, so get a muskie. We're super lucky. So what I did was I drilled two holes in the bottom and uh, put some lead in there. I probably put I don't know close to a close to a half ounce of lead because it was so floaty. Got to stop and appreciate that loon. There's all kinds of bird activity. So I had to put some lead in there. I put like a half ounce. So you know what I did is I overcompensated with lead. And so now what do you think happens? It's got a slow sink to it. It's pretty slow. So I'm thinking it might still be okay. We'll, I'll try and get a look at how the bait performs here. We've got some loons around here, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I, uh, the fish, I don't think too many of them pulled up shallow here yet. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna walk and cover as much of this rock as I can. There's rocky, rock jetties and stuff. The bite looks pretty good. I think it's about right. It's not, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so it is not too heavy. It seems it's okay. I just hope that there's at least one fish hanging around this rock somewhere. I'm just gonna walk all of these, as many of these rock jetties as I can in the next hour or so, and just hope there's a fish around. Oh yeah. It looks pretty good. It's got good random action, I like that. 
sweet would that be to get a muskie on this thing? Holy crap, what do I got? Grass? I got a fish. I got a fish. Yeah, I land this guy, largemouth. Nice largemouth. You kidding me? Yes. Holy crap, that's a nice fish too. <laughs> Look at that. New jerk bait. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Nice fat, pre-spawn largemouth. Probably a two pounder. <laughs> yes. I've only been out here for, that's probably like my 10th cast. So, okay. Thank you, fishy. There he goes. Okay, I'm psyched about that. That was awesome. <laughs> so cool. I just did not expect there to be any active fish out here. Man, that's what you dream of when you're making your own bait is, man, I would, I would love to catch a fish on this thing. And, uh, whew, feels good. He was right here. There's a little tunnel that goes under the road here. A couple of jerks paused for a second and he was just there. He didn't hit it too hard. Oh, there's something else. I had a hit earlier that I thought was a hit. Now I think it probably was. Let's get a water temperature here. Let's get a water temp reading. I'm curious. I just got this new $5 thermometer. Let's put it to use. This could be a useful tool here. I'm gonna drop it in. Okay, just let it sit there for a while. Whoa, shoot. There you have it. Water temperature is 43.5. Still pretty cold. So I fished for about 45 more minutes after we caught that largemouth, and uh, I had one more bump. It, it, I don't think it was a rock. I was kind of cast it out towards the middle, and I got bumped by something, but I did not hook up. I think we were lucky to get that one considering the conditions and I'm super excited about that. Um, it's the first largemouth I've caught this year, I think, uh, in open water anyway. Anyway, there will be more bait making videos, but for now, I'm on to some other projects and some spillway fishing and some cat fishing and all kinds of things. So thanks a lot for watching. I will catch you next time. I really appreciate it. See you later.